Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, January 26, 2024. May the God of grace be with you today and may he continue to watch over you and keep you. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms 127, reading verse 1 to 5. And it says, Except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain that built it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman watch it, but in vain. Verse 2, It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sheep. Verse 3, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Verse 4, As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. 5 and last, Happy is the man that had his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Amen. We thank the Lord today for his word. And I pray that as we continue to study, that we will be encouraged and that we will draw near to God. Now the reading tells us this morning that God is our keeper. In verse 1 it says that except he built the house the laborer labor in vain so in other words you cannot govern your house without the guidance of god every decision that is made everything that we do we must follow the guidance of the holy spirit parents bear an awesome responsibility to make sure that their children are taught the principle of God and the principle of right and wrong. It went as far to say that except the Lord keep the city, the watchman watch up in vain. So it doesn't matter how much security forces that the city has. It doesn't matter how much police, how much soldier, how much security guard or how much mechanism and gadgets that they have to protect themselves or protect the city. All of that is vain if God does not protect it or if he lifts his hand of protection from it. See where I'm going? So yes, these things have their place, but we must never forget that God is ultimately the one doing all the protecting. Not the cops, not the soldier, not anybody, but God. And the Bible tells us that as time moves closer and closer, to his return and the spirit of God is being withdrawn from the earth we will see devastation on levers we have never experienced before and we can see that and no matter what the these officers do it doesn't matter what the government do they can't stop it they will try some will try let me put it that way but it doesn't matter the effort is basically futile because what as I said, the protection of God and the Spirit of God is slowing being withdrawn. And so you can see the extent of wickedness that exists in the world. And so we must understand that we don't exist without God. That's not possible. We are God's creature, God's creation. And so it is very important that we keep that in our frontal lobe, keep that in in the forefront of our mind so that we never forget it speak about how important children is and i know a lot of adults sometimes look at children as a mistake or they don't have anything good to say about children because the child is this and the child is that yes you may have a child that is misbehaving a child that is unruly a child that is disobedient but we also have adults that are the same. What am I saying there? I am saying that we must never forget that children belong to God. They are God's heritage. 
they are God's property. And so when the Lord bless you or bless a family with a child, those parents must understand that they must grow that child in the way that the Lord wants the child to grow. Parents must make sure that they practice good habits. They must make sure that their moral compass is pointing towards what is right. They must make sure that they leave a good example for their children to follow. They must make sure that each day they open the word of God before their children. And for those parents who are ministers or who are Christians or evangelists, whatever, whatever role you play within the church, for those parents who are part of the church, your responsibility is even greater. Why is it greater? Because now you are God representative in every way and you must live what you preach. And so you can't be on the battlefield working to win souls and to win other children into the kingdom and leave your children or you don't minister to your children and guide them and make sure that they are wrapped up and tangled up in the Lord. Cover them. And so children must be treated with love and care and they must be disciplined. But discipline in a manner that God is pleased with. Don't abuse your children, but make sure you don't forget to discipline them and guide them in the right way. The Bible says, spare not the rod, but the Bible never tell you, you to abuse your children. The Bible says to guide them in the way of the Lord. And don't forget that children are a blessing. The Bible says the fruit of the womb. So when the Lord has blessed your womb and make it fertile, don't take it for granted. Having children is a blessing and not to leave out those mothers who aren't able to have children. Some women are unable to have children, not because of anything that they do. And sometimes we can be unempathetic towards them. But I tell you this, that those women who are unable to have children or some of those women who are unable to have children are even more loving more caring and more kind towards children than those than some of those who can have children just something to note so what's my point let us take care of god heritage let us guide them in the way he wants them to be guided let us love them let us treat them well and most importantly cover them under the blood of christ and make sure that by the grace of god and with the help of the holy spirit they are safe in the kingdom of god so do all that you can do as a parent and leave the rest to god now pray adventure if your child should lose out on the kingdom or be lost it should not be because you fell short as a parent because believe you me and take my word for it if your child is lost because of your bad parenting then you will give an account for that that's what scripture said so don't take it for granted don't make a mess of god's property and those home that has children don't you see how happy those home is well at least most of the time children naturally bring joy to the life of those they are around that's why you have grandparents love their grandchildren so much because they are so innocent so pleasant i don't know of any child that keep malice you school a child right now and two minutes after is a child that run coming to hug you up and love you up because that's why they are just naturally affectionate like that. the bible also speak about youth making valuable use of their youth don't waste your youth away make sure that you live a full life and do what is right and when i speak about living a full life i am not talking about smoking and drinking and going to parties and you know wearing the latest clothes and all of that that's the world theory 
of living a good life having all the money that you can have and buying all the latest stuff and all of those frolickings but that's not what i'm talking about in fact you cannot live a full life and a meaningful life outside of christ you just can't no matter what picture the world want to paint to you or what kind of message your friends want to tell you saying that you will miss out or you are missing out if you give your heart to christ tell them that they don't know what they're talking about because what god is the giver of life so how are you going to experience life to the fullest outside of the person who actually gives life think about that and the best time for you to stand up for god and to to live for god and to show the world your god and to work for him is in your youth because when you get whole you can't do some of the things that you can do in your youth so may the lord continue to give wisdom to all parents to all adults the bible the saying the saying goes that it takes a village and so as much as a, a lot of the weight is and responsibility is on the parents it's not limited to them only and so may god give you wisdom and give you courage and fill your heart with compassion as you guide his little one to him amen